Today I'm going to walk you through how to draw an object um, for your, your detailed sketch. And I'm going to walk you through how to um, draw it out first using line and then how to shade it. First thing you want to do is identify where you see your basic shapes. So if I look at this object, I can see the front part of my handle is created by a circle that's overlapped with a square that has an angled rectangle that has a larger circle and that creates the first half of my handle. Then for the blade, I notice that I have a triangle shape for one of the blades. First shape I saw was a circle. And make sure you're drawing nice and big so it fills your paper. Um, due to the fact that the video zoomed in a little bit, I'm going to draw a little bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing at all times. And then next to that, like I said, I saw a square that overlapped. I saw an angled rectangle. I saw a larger circle. I'm going to go ahead and add in my um, blade. And another thing that I can kind of do is use my pencil to help me measure. So if I look here, the handle itself is about that long. When I compare it to how long my blade is, my blade is actually a little bit shorter than what I drew for my handle. So I'm going to look at the length of my handle. So here's the length of my handle. So my blade should be just a little bit shorter than that. So I know that my blade, I want it to come out about that far. And I know that it's connected to this part here. So I want to make sure that I'm lining up my ruler so it looks like my blade could come out of this handle. And I'm going to angle it to that point at which I said the blade ended. So there's the blade for that pair, uh, that side of the scissors. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to use my eraser and I'm just going to erase the lines that I no longer need. And then I'm going to clean up my edges. So I like to go back over and just really clean up my drawing so I can still see my lines that I started with, but now I'm going to clean them up a little bit better because that wasn't exactly what I'm seeing. There's some scoops and things in the shape. So now I'm going to go back in and really redraw what I was seeing. Now that I've got a more refined shape for my first handle, I can go back in and add um, some more detail to it. So I see the opening. Um, there has to be a place for my finger to go into the scissors. I do see the top of a screw that holds the two handles together. I also see a little bit of an indentation here where the plastic sinks down. You can kind of see that if I tilt the scissors where the plastic sinks down. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And as you get more comfortable, you can just start in with the shape the exact shape that you want. So because the first one I broke down into basic shapes, this one I'm going to go ahead and just start in with the general form that I'm seeing. And then I need to have my blade coming out the other direction so I can see it starts part of the way down. And again, I'm trying to angle it, make sure that it looks like it's controlled by this other handle. And it should be about as far as the other one, so you might want to make a mark so you know how long your line needs to be. And then I can see where this top part is. But this one has a bit of a curve, so I don't want to connect it to my last line. So I go ahead and add that blade in 
but this end has been rounded. Okay, now that I have the general shape there, I'm going to go back in and add some details. So on this pair of scissors, I can see some ink or some paint right here, little markings here, here on this blade I see a little bit there. I can see the edge like I showed here, slight dip in this part of the scissors there. Now the last detail that I haven't drawn is the dimension. So I need to go back in and show where the sides are that I can see. So sometimes it's a little bit harder to see in an object, so I'm going to show you here. When I first drew the scissors, I focused on just drawing the top. Now I want to make sure that I have the dimension. So this is the side of this top handle, and then we can also see some dimension on the inside. I also need to add the dimension here on the outside of the handle and on the inside of the scissors. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm following the curve of the top of the handle that I started. And here it does get a little bit wider. And then it comes back and goes behind the handle of the scissor. And maybe I made it just a little too wide. So I can adjust that just a little bit. And then on the inside, I can see a little bit of the inside of the dimension here showing through at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and add that dimension space right in there. So now that handle is looking a lot more 3D. And any lines that I no longer need, I might need to adjust this here just a little bit. So now we can see the side of this handle coming out. And it's very thin here. And then it starts to get thicker towards the handle. But it really has a lot of dimension right here. And then again, it fades back into the top of that handle. And here we can see the inside dimension of the scissors that comes up and curves around and fades back in. And then again, we want to show some dimension with our blade. Here we can see a little sliver of the side. So now that I've added all my dimension, um, I can also sketch out where I see the cast shadows. So just very lightly, I'm going to show where I'm seeing my cast shadows due to my lighting. So I see it coming out here, the opening here, a little bit of the dark cast shadow out here, that follows around here, see a little bit of it inside follows underneath and opens up just past the scissor, extends just a little bit past it, comes back to it, see just a little bit of it under here, and then we see more of it just right under the blades. So we can see a little bit of our cast shadow there. Now that I've sketched out all of my um, object lines, I can go back through and clean that up, and then I'm going to go back in and shade it. One thing I forgot to mention about the dimension, when you look at an object, you tend to see it from one direction, so the dimension's all going to fall on the same side. So notice the dimension of the handle was all on the bottom and toward the right. Um, that's because of the angle that I'm looking at and that I photographed my scissors at. So you'll notice that you tend to see the dimension on the same side. Same thing with the cast shadow. Depending on the lighting, notice the lighting is the light was from above and from the top left, so that causes the cast shadow to fall to the right and toward um, the bottom as well. So here are my scissors. Uh, the next um, part of the video will show you how to shade these.